Hello everyone, this is Mystic Goddess with your general reading. I've meditated over the energy and I shuffled the deck, so let's go ahead and get started. The overall energy for what this person is not telling you currently, we have coming back for you, it's real. Hold my spot in reverse. We also have the Five of Swords in reverse. And we have the Queen of Wands in reverse. All right. So when it comes to what this person is not telling you currently, they plan on coming back to you. They want to resolve any conflict and restore peace back into this connection. Now, even though they do want to resolve things with you, there's also a part of them that wants to give up. They feel like they no longer hold a special place in your heart. So I feel like this person is a little bit torn at the moment. They're torn between deciding if they should come in and make peace with you or if they should just give up and move on with their life. This person is also bitter because like I said, they feel like they no longer hold that special place in your heart anymore. And at this point, they feel like you'll never look at them the same way again. For some of you, this person could be involved with someone else right now, but with the Queen of Wands being in reverse, they're either connecting with a karmic or they feel like they settled for someone that's low class, overbearing, and possibly even mean. So if they are currently dealing with someone else, I feel like they thought about leaving that other person to be with you. But at this point, they don't want to sacrifice the other person, get turned down by you, and then end up being alone. At the bottom of the deck, we have, I wasn't supposed to catch feelings. So this person didn't expect to fall for you as deeply as they did. They're also hiding their deep emotions for you. So their feelings are a lot deeper than what they're showing. I made you feel worthless, but truth is you were too good for me. So this person feels as though they were not on your level. And that may also be another reason why they feel as though the other person they're dealing with currently is low class, at least compared to you. So they feel like they settled for someone else. For some of you, they want to connect with you just one last time. And this person is thinking about you in a sexual way. For some of you, if you have been intimate with them, they want to have one last sexual encounter. And if you were to decide to connect with them sexually, I feel like this person would either have rough sex with you or they may want to express their feelings through that sexual encounter. Huh. It's just giving me energy of them wanting to connect with you in a passionate but kind of rough type of way. One day I'm going to make you my wife slash husband. So this person feels as though you're the one that they're going to end up marrying. I also feel as though they're either trying to buy time with you or they're pretending as though they're busy when they're really not. So this could be someone that's trying to distract themselves from their thoughts and feelings. But yeah, they want to punish you sexually. That's the energy that I'm getting. Almost like they're thinking, man, if I could have Mr. Goddess's viewer one last time sexually, I'm going to tear him or her up. That's the energy that I'm getting here. So yeah, for some of you, this person is admitting they made you feel worthless because they felt like you were too good for them. And now they're connecting with someone else that they feel can't even compare to you on their best day. So yeah, when it comes to what this person is not telling you currently with the devil card being in reverse, they're trying their best to resist you, okay? They feel a lot of temptation to come toward you, but they're trying to resist because they feel as though their emotions and their feelings are all over the place. This person is very reactive right now, so they're trying their best not to act in an impulsive way. They're definitely connecting with a karmic, but I feel as though they resent the karmic or they resent the other person that they're involved with. And it's because the other person isn't you. That other person does not fulfill their needs emotionally the way that you did. With the Eight of Pentacles being in reverse, they may even feel like that person is bad quality or low quality, like I was saying before. They feel like the other person doesn't even possess the skills in order to fulfill them on an emotional level. It's just giving me energy of them looking at whoever else they're connecting with, like 
oh, you can't do anything right. You don't do this like Mystic Goddesses Viewer. Why can't you just be like Mystic Goddesses Viewer? That's the energy that it's giving me. This person may also be a little bit low on energy. They're not as ambitious as they used to be. I feel like they're having a hard time focusing at work. They're not even as focused on the other person that they're dealing with. I feel like the other person is just there. They just have them there, possibly to prevent from being alone. They don't seem to be thinking completely clearly. And I feel like the other person they're dealing with is noticing it. Okay. This seems to be someone that could be lashing out. I feel like they're being rude to people for no reason, especially this other person that they're connecting with. So whoever else they're involved with knows that something's not right. They know that something is wrong, but they can't really put their finger on it. I feel like this person could have been using drugs or some type of substance. They could have even been using this other person to make themselves feel better but whatever they've been using to distract themselves from you is no longer working at least not at the moment for some of you with the knight of wands being here this person wants to rush in toward you they want to let you know that they're still interested in you they want to let you know that they still have attraction for you like i said the other person can't stand next to you on their best day because you're coming out as the empress or the emperor so this person is also reaching a conclusion or they're having a reality check in regards to no one else being able to replace you also be careful if you were to have an intimate encounter with this person because i do see pregnancy here if the two of you do have children with one another i just see this person going back and forth or just trying to make their way back into your life. If you do not have children with them, I see them wishing that the two of you would have had children, okay? It's coming out like this person wishes they had something that would keep the two of you attached. They also feel like you've started something new elsewhere, okay? With the lover's card being in reverse, they definitely feel as though you've fallen out of love with them. But the lover's card is also coming out under the queen of cups in reverse. So whoever else they're dealing with, they're noticing the two of them are arguing more. They're noticing the disharmony in the connection. They feel like this person is opposing them for some reason. For some of you, this person is regretting even getting involved with this other person. Hmm. So this person feels as though you are falling out of love with them or you have fallen out of love, but the other person that they're dealing with feels as though this person no longer loves them or they feel like this person no longer wants to be with them. With the Hierophant card being here, I feel like whoever they chose to be with, they got involved with that person because they're easy to mold. They're easy to mold. They may even be easy to manipulate. This is going to be specific. Please don't force it to fit. But if they did choose to marry the other person, or if the two of them are living together, they regret it. So as of now, this person is taking their frustration about this connection out on other people around them. And it's coming off as though they're being rude and irrational for no reason. For some of you, I feel like they're picking arguments with other people. Almost like they're looking for things to start an argument or they're walking around wishing someone would, wishing someone would rub them the wrong way so that they can have a reason to act the fool. That's the type of energy this is giving me. Hmm. If you have released this connection or if you're just not pursuing this person the way that you used to, it's causing insecurity within them. It may even be causing this person to be jealous. It's causing envy. For some of you, they may not even feel like going out or they may not feel like being around friends at the moment. Now, if they are connecting with friends or if they are spending time with others, 
people may be noticing that this person is not as pleasant to be around right now. I just see this person flying off of the handle. Hmm. So yeah, as of now, they feel like they're losing their mind. They're trying their best to come off detached, come off as so they're not in their feelings, but their actions show otherwise because they're lashing out at people that haven't done anything to them. <laughs> so yeah, they're a little bit in their feelings. Well, I can't even say a little bit. They're a lot in their feelings. And I feel as though they weren't expecting to be as deeply affected by whatever is happening between the two of you. They thought that it would be easy for them to move on. They thought this relationship would be an easy sacrifice, but it's not. So they're experiencing a reality check. So let's see what else comes out. Give me more messages, please, Holy Spirit, when it comes to this person. What are they not telling my viewers currently when it comes to love? What is this person not telling my viewers currently when it comes to love? Two more shuffles. All right. So let's see what else comes out here. All right, so at the bottom of the deck, we have Elf Buddies. So for some of you, this person could be connecting with um, a friends with benefits. They could want the two of you to at least be friends with benefits. And if I'm not mistaken, I think that came out in the last reading that I did. The crazy thing is for some of you, they have someone else they're connecting with sexually, but they feel as though no one else can have you but them. They feel as though you belong to them. Even though they're connecting with another person sexually, they don't want you connecting with anyone else. Hmm. Give me more. What is this person not telling my viewers? We have things could get ugly and keeping tabs on you. Wow. Anytime the things could get ugly card comes out, it lets me know that this person is on edge. It also lets me know that they don't mind getting out of character. For some of you, they're keeping close tabs on you and they don't like what they're hearing or what they're seeing. So be careful spending time with this person. If they were to come in, letting you know that they want to see you, be careful when it comes to that because I feel like they would throw certain things up in your face and them not being stable within their emotions could cause this person to lash out or to react toward you in a violent way, whether that's being violent with their words or things actually getting physical between the two of you. So they have their own thing going on right now with this karmic, this low class karmic that they're unhappy with, but they're still keeping close tabs on you. And whatever they're saying, they don't like it. So for some of you, they could feel like you're trying to get attention from others or they could feel as though others are giving you attention without you even trying. Regardless of what it is, this person is ready to act the fool. They're ready to act the fool. Give me more. What is this person not telling my viewers? Thank you. Can't get you out of my head. So they're thinking a lot about you. If you've ever been intimate with this person, they're thinking about those passionate encounters. Hmm. So some of you may be thinking this person has moved on and they're not giving you a second thought. That could not be the furthest from the truth. And then I feel like when they're connecting with this karmic sexually or whoever else they're dealing with on a sexual level, it actually reminds them of you because that other person doesn't fulfill them sexually the way that you did. If the two of you had intimate encounters. Now, if you did not have an intimate encounter with this person, I just feel as though they're wanting you sexually. So for some of you, while they're with someone else, having intimate encounters, they're thinking about you. Okay, they could even be pretending as though you're the other person. They could be pretending as though whoever they're connecting with sexually is really you. Hmm. Give me more. 
what is this person not telling my viewers all right so we have fake busy buying time so again this person is pretending as though they're busy when they're really not i feel like they're trying their best to distract themselves when it comes to you for others of you this person is in the energy of trying to buy time okay give me more what is this person not telling my viewers thank you all right i wasn't supposed to catch feelings and we also have physically chose them emotionally choosing you thank you for the confirmation holy spirit okay because i was telling you guys before in the overall energy that if this person knew for sure you would take them back if they knew for sure you would be open to reconciling with them they would drop this other person they would drop this karmic because they're still connected to you emotionally even though they physically chose to be with someone else their heart is still with you so this person just didn't expect to fall as deeply for you or whenever they got involved with this karmic or this third party they didn't think their feelings for you would still be as strong okay so they may have been using this other person to try and get over you now they're over here feeling some type of way because they feel as though you're detaching from them they feel as though they don't have as strong of a grip on you as they used to so they're taking things out on this karmic I feel like they're just frustrated because the karmic can't stand next to you. They may look at the karmic like, dang, you can't do anything right. Could you at least try to do something right? You're not even trying. You know, you're not going above and beyond like Mr. Goddess's viewer. You're not satisfying me emotionally like Mr. Goddess's viewer. And if you have connected with them sexually, they feel like the karmic isn't even satisfying them sexually like Mr. Goddess's viewer. If you've connected with this person sexually, it's giving energy of them thinking, dang, like you don't do certain things that Mystic Goddess's viewer does, or you don't do it like Mystic Goddess's viewer. And it doesn't necessarily have to be on a sexual level, okay? This person just doesn't embody the energy that you do. And therefore, this person is becoming frustrated give me more what is this person thank you all right so we have std burning itching leaking so one thing they're not telling you is that they may feel as though they have an std now it did come out crossing so either they haven't had a diagnosis or they're just unsure about it okay they may be experiencing certain symptoms and they're unsure where those symptoms are coming from now in the overall energy we saw that the queen of cups and the king of cups were both in reverse those are unfaithful people so i feel like they're cheating on each other and someone is having symptoms of an std so it's to the point where even if they did contract an std they're unsure of where it came from okay now these cards fell out just as i was shuffling so we have just this last time you're going to be my wife slash husband and we have up all night thinking about you. So this person still views you as the one they're going to spend the rest of their life with. And for some of you, they spend late nights thinking about you. Again, wanting to connect with you just one last time. For some of you, they want to talk to you just one last time in hopes of getting through to you. They want to see where your head and where your heart is at. Give me one more card to end the reading. What is this person? Thank you. We have, I know you're my soulmate. So this person feels as though the two of you are still deeply connected. They feel like you're made for one another. Text and erase is at the bottom of the deck. So for some of you, this person may be texting out a message and then they'll delete it. Or they may dial out your number, go to the contact that they have your name saved under in their phone think about calling you but then change their mind about it so this is someone that has attempted to reach out to you but they didn't follow through so they're feeling some type of way and as of now they're taking it out on the people around them 
they do plan on coming back to you, but they also feel as though they have lost that soft spot. They feel like you don't look at them the same way anymore. They feel like you no longer hold a special place in your heart for them. For some of you, they're wishing if the two of you can't be together that you can at least be friends with benefits. They're unable to get you out of their head. And also they're still possessive over your energy. And also they're keeping tabs on you and they don't like what they're seeing. Okay, now for some of you, if you know for sure they have no way of keeping tabs on you, that's pissing them off. I wouldn't be surprised if this person comes toward you showing some, I don't want to say aggressive behavior, but showing you that they're unhappy with how things are going between the two of you. They could come toward you showing their temper. They could come toward you and get a little bit out of character. This is someone that feels as though they no longer have any control over you. They also view you as the one that they're going to marry. For some of you, they stay up all night thinking about you. They're trying their best to distract themselves with drugs, alcohol, this karmic, their friends, but nothing they're doing is working. They're admitting that they physically chose this karmic but emotionally they choose you they also are admitting that their heart is sealed with you and so even though they are connecting with the karmic it's not what it seems to be okay it's not what it seems to be they feel as though you are their soulmate the karmic is just someone to keep them company <laughs> that's all it is to it it's someone to keep them company and it's also someone that they feel like they can easily mold. So for some of you, eventually this person may take the risk and reach out to you. Even if the two of you are connecting currently, if you are getting communication from this person, I just feel like they're not telling you everything that they want to tell you. And there are times they have attempted to go a little bit deeper or expose some of their feelings, but then they'll erase the text message. They don't send it. So it's giving some cowardly type of energy. Hmm. So yeah, they're missing you. This person is missing you. And at this point, a part of them wants to give up, but there's another part of them that still wants to resolve things. Okay, so this person is kind of torn at the moment. All right, so that is the reading, everyone. If you guys resonated with this or if you liked this reading, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you as a part of the Mystic family. I love each and every one of you guys so, so much. You take care, be safe. Until next time, bye.